December 1916. The Great War enters its darkest hour. Both the Allies and the Central Powers are exhausted, devastated by the scale of the ongoing massacre. In one battle alone, the banks of the River Somme devour more than a million corpses, riddled with bullets, poisoned by gas, dismembered by shrapnel, and torn down in ruthless hand-to-hand -hand combat. Clouds of toxic gas and flames smother the Earth's dead surface. Artillery shells in their millions raise mountains of dirt and destruction so high that the sun and the moon disappear. The thunderous echoes of war drift deep underground. Soon, few will have the courage to venture near. But there is another reason why some people have named this part of France No Man's Land. Get up, soldier. It's time. Damn. I dreamt someone was telling me not to wake up today. Don't tell me you're superstitious, Yankee boy. I was dreaming about my Jane, and she wasn't doing too much talking. <laughs> We've been cooped up in here for too long. Looks like someone up there is crying over our fate. In England, we call it rain. Listen up, soldiers. It's going to be over tonight. We'll break through Jerry's line with one strike. We know they're desperate. They're weak. They won't know what's hit them. So, keep your heads down and your guns up. Tank squads have got our flanks covered, and we're the blade that's going to rip those German trenches apart and carve the enemy up like the vermin they are. Like the rats they love to eat. Remember this hour. Tonight, the forces of evil will be crushed once and for all. This is the call of duty. What a load of whole shit. No surrender, no retreat, only victory. For king and country, boys, let's destroy those bastards.
September 21st, 1916. While building the bunker, I was ordered to dig inside the rock face where we came across a passage to a cave in which we discovered a deposit of small red rocks all shining as if waiting for the world to find them. September the 8th, 1916. I feel so lonely here. All my men died at Souville. I knew it was a suicidal decision to attack. They send me orders, but they don't have to see the men fall. I'm proud of my soldiers, but the French should be even prouder. Souville was our graveyard. November 13th, 1916. That machine really scares me. They made it in a great hurry. I'm not sure why the hell they want to bring that enormous creature in here. The stronghold is almost completely secured, but who knows, maybe they have their reasons. Anyway, if somebody does break in, I've left some ammo in a chest next to the second sniper's position. That's my last chance when the darkest hour comes. Does anyone know what happened to Adelbert? I know he took a bad one on the Somme, and that's the last we heard of him. We miss his kindness. He was one of the best, singing along to his guitar every night. And now there's no news of him. If anyone ever reads this, what happened to Adelbert Kalle? 1916. God, I thought you were dead like everyone else. Oh, maybe you were right. I think I've been buried alive. An American corpse? Eh? How long have I been out? Do I look like a bloody cuckoo clock? Hey, are you okay? Of course I'm okay. But you look terrible. Here, this should fix you up. <laughs> it's been a bit, uh, I'm not, I mean, with all the screams and banging outside. Hey, but look. I've managed to unjam this bloody rifle. Maybe we can get out of this alive. Okay, but be careful with that thing. <laughs> so, where are the rest of our men? Are you insane? We are the rest. We're the last, the lost, the forgotten. The entire 3rd Battalion is dead. Krauts took no prisoners. Everyone outside got a bullet in the brain or swallowed a lung full of gas. Thank God I was able to jam this door tight enough to keep the poor bastard out. Knocking and kicking. You're not coming in. Nobody's home. Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that the Germans couldn't break their way in here? <laughs> what Germans? If the Krauts had any idea someone was in here, they'd just put a cannon to our backsides and blast us back to Blighty. No, those buggers were back in our own trenches when all this happened. So... If it wasn't the Germans, who was trying to get in here? The whole goddamn 4th Battalion running away from the gas! Oh, I had no chance. That's my division. Those were my friends, soldier. It's a British army, I think you'll find. And you didn't let them in. Just saved yourself. If I'd opened the door, those sorry bastards wouldn't be the only ones lying dead right now. How the hell are you gonna live with yourself? For the rest of your life, you'll wake up with their screams in your ears. Do you think I give a damn about that? Keep back! I will use this. It's war, and they died. If I'd have opened the door, the Germans and the gas would have followed them straight through. Understand? We wouldn't be having this conversation. No, I'm gonna get through this, don't you worry. Look, I've got some papers from a dead German officer. I know their patrol routes, their passwords, their secret weapons locations. <laughs> I even know the name of his bloody maid, Helga. <laughs> look, look how fat she is. I'm gonna wait until dark and get myself out of here unnoticed. <laughs> Perhaps I'll take you with me, if I let you live. Okay, here's the deal. You can keep Helga, but I'll take those papers. I don't take orders from anyone. No, you're a great leader of men. You shoot that thing and the whole Bavarian army will be here in seconds. 
Okay, okay. You're right. We should do this thing quietly. It's unbelievable. First hand-to-hand -hand fight of the war is with a madman who's on my side. Ah, oh, this whole place smells like a slaughterhouse. I'm not waiting for Knight to get the hell out of here. Makes all the pain worthwhile. somewhere in the German trench may be useful later. Good. <laughs> 